Hi there, I'm Brad. Today I'm uh, going to try and test some diamonds, or what I think are diamonds, um, that I got when I went to uh, to Arkansas, um, Crater Diamond State Park, and I uh, dug up some gravel, brought it home, and my wife has kind of gone through it and decided that that a uh, spatch of rocks is what she thinks is uh, most likely to be diamonds. Um, so as far as I know, there are like about six different tests you can do to determine if they're diamonds. Um, there's the, the old scratch test where you try to scratch a piece of glass with it. Um, there's an ultraviolet test where you shine it with a black light and see if it fluorescence. Um, there's also the fog test um, where you breathe on it and see if it holds on to the fog or not. Um, probably can't do this on rough diamonds because it's more for uh, for cut diamonds that have a have a smooth face and, and then there's electronic diamond testers which i have one of those so we'll try that um, basically what that does is put heat, heat into the diamond and then test to see how long it holds on to that heat because diamonds are really good at getting rid of the heat um and then um a lot of people weigh them so if you have uh if you have what's a, a known good diamond that's carrot in weight and you have a diamond that you suspect may be, may be fake and, you, and it's also supposed to be a carat um, cubic zirconia is supposed to weigh more than actual diamonds so so you can uh, test it that way to see if it's fake I'm not going to be able to do that on these rough diamonds because you know obviously I don't have anything to compare them to uh, weight wise um, and then uh, one, one more test that I've seen people do is the uh, laser test where they shoot a uh, laser beam into them um, to, and it, diamonds tend to hold on to the light, they don't scatter it back out. Um, so cubic zirconia will, will you know, scatter the light back out of the, out of the uh, cut stone. So uh, we'll try some of these tests. I can't probably do them all, but, but we'll uh, see where it goes. Okay, laser test. So I have these little ones that I know are fakes. So I put it, shoot the bean, shoot the laser in there and it it bounces right out. So but I pretty much knew those were all fakes. Those are all just paste. Um this one I think is fake too. It's actually these these little ones I think might be real. But they're still bouncing the the light out but I think that might be because of the there's the settings reflecting the light and the big one definitely uh, you can see the light all come out of there so now for the rough diamonds or rough rough stones some of these are Some of these are kind of holding on to the light, but they, you know they're rough, so it's kind of hard to tell. A lot of them aren't very clear, so so I don't think that they're right. That one, the, the it's coming right out of it, so I think that one is for sure not a real one. This one, same thing. It's coming, it's bouncing right out of it. This one looks pretty good here. But again, bounces right out of it, failing the laser test. That one is not. This one is um, very diffused. So it's holding on to the light, but it's not bouncing around inside of it like you'd expect a diamond to do. That one just shoots right through it. That's a piece of glass or something. I'm not too sure where my wife um, found all these stones at. Um, kind of the whole family was uh, was looking around for stones at the, and then we hauled a whole uh, bucket of uh, gravel home.
I can see that going straight through some of these really clear ones. So they're just glass or I don't know or quartz. That one is uh, not so bad. So these two are the ones that we think are closest to being diamonds. And you can see it just it, they're very diffused though, so I, I don't know if they are. Um, so that's it. I have a couple more pieces of jewelry that we my wife swears they're diamonds, but um, I don't think they are. And you can see that it fails the laser test when you hit them with the laser beam. The the, the light bounces right out of them. So, there's a couple more here. But again, when they're set like this, sometimes it's hard to tell with the laser. Next test is the scratch test. So these all failed the laser test. These all somewhat passed the laser test. And these, these fake ones here fail, failed the laser test. Well, let's do some of these. Boy, not scratching it at all. Failed the scratch test. Oh, I don't know, that one scratched a little bit. Not really. That one is one of the ones that I suspect is a diamond and it actually passed the scratch test. I think it scratched pretty good. This one halfway passed it too. You have to push real hard to get them to scratch. So here's my pile that failed the laser test. Here's my pile that failed the scratch test. So I still have a pretty good pile here of possible diamonds. The next test would be um, the diamond tester. Well, I have the diamond tester here. Turn it on. You gotta wait till it warms up, and this lamp here will come on. It tells you that the heater's all warmed up inside of it, so it can send the heat out out the probe to the diamond. So there, 
that light came on so now we're ready to test what it says to do is it says to turn this up until it's at, at two so there's two greens here and just for giggles I'm gonna test this big one and you can see oh, it goes up to three but it doesn't uh, it went up to four but it doesn't go all the way up um, I have a feeling some of these little guys on the sides of them when it beeps like that that means you're touching metal I can't get in there good enough to get it to touch one of those little guys. The mounts are uh, messing with me. And then these um, antique uh, earrings that my wife could have sworn were real because her grandma gave them to her are no doubt about it. The rubies might possibly be real. And I got this little uh, this little ring with a piece of opal in it and a couple little diamonds. If I can get in here, you can see that uh, all the way up. and beeps real real noisily so that's got a pair of little a small little real diamonds in it and this one's got some sort of sapphire or something in it and if I can get into these guys you can see yeah, those light all the way up too so those there's you know eight little stones around there that are real So let's get on to testing the rough ones. Five or six. Make sure this is down at two. So, I I'm thinking that's negative. Uh, one last test is uh, let me turn the lights off and uh, see if any of these fluorescent. So these are the ones that pass the laser test. 
these are the ones that um, failed the scratch test. These are the ones that failed the diamond tester. And then I'll put my array of jewelry up here too. And of course my no one fake uh, stones. Let's get the lights turned off and get the UV going. Alright, you can see that opal is just glowing like a glowing like crazy and that's and I've been told that's how they find opals. Then you got a couple of these, a couple of these that are fluorescing too. Uh, those not so much. Those might all be fake. Rubies are supposed to fluorescent, fluoresce under black light too, and these, these are not. They're dark as can be, so I imagine they're paste too. And none of my stones are glowing. So I think it was a bust at the at the diamond mine. 